I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Today we're going to explore the area around La Bastille. This place is full of unique and hidden treasures. This is the second of our three-part series on the neighborhood of Bastille in Paris. If you missed our first episode, you can find it on our YouTube channel. This is La Place La Bastille, but where is La Bastille? It was actually a fortress built on the eastern gates of Paris in the 1300s. If you head a little southeast past Gare de Lyon, you'll reach the Bercy Stadium, a large sports complex and concert venue. Covered by steps and diagonal stabs of grass, there isn't much to see except for a few skateboarders. However, if you walk a little further to the east, you'll come up to a nice park and a few lesser known places in Paris. It's hard to miss the ultra-modern design of the Cinématique Française. A Frank Gehry architectural masterpiece, the Cinématique, opened in 2005, houses a large film library, a cool museum on the history of cinema, and its movie theater also hosts retrospectives on film legends, past and present. Keep walking through the gardens to the Cour Saint-Emilion, Little known by tourists, the buildings of the Cour Saint-Emilion were once warehouses for wine. And if it's apéro time, you're in luck. The Cour Saint-Emilion has been restored and converted into lively cafes and shops. Of course, visiting Paris is great, but why not live like a local? Rent a furnished apartment or vacation rental from New York Habitat and live like a real Parisian for your next trip to Paris. For all you bookworms out there, cross the river to the west from the Cour Saint-Emilion and you'll come to the massive François Mitterrand Library, the National Library of France. If you're in Paris in the summer, grab your swimsuit and head to the Piscine Josephine Baker. It's a floating swimming pool on the Seine River just next to the François Mitterrand Library. After taking a dip in the pool, head back towards La Bastille along the Quai d'Austerlitz and explore the Jardin des Plantes. This vast and charming garden is the perfect place to stroll, sit back with a good book, or find inspiration for your garden back home. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our tour of the Bastille District. And of course, there are a ton of things to do and see here, and we couldn't get them all in this video. If you know of anything we missed, make sure you share them with us in the comments section below. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll be notified when part three is posted in the coming weeks. If you're planning a trip to Paris, get to know the local area by renting a furnished apartment through New York Habitat. Visit our website at nyhabitat.com. You're just a few clicks away from living like a real Parisian. I'm David Hill with New York Habitat, and while there is no longer a fortress here in Bastille to capture, we hope to see you soon capturing your own special Parisian moments.